Hey guys, so what I'm going to be doing here today is exploring some unused content in the themes folder that could be possibly alternate files or like alternate cursors or alternate sound events for specific themes. So we're going to be using my Windows 98 virtual machine. We're going to look at the both the built-in themes that come with Windows 98 even though these were carried over from Microsoft Plus for 95 and even though they became later included in Windows Millennium Edition, known as Windows Me, as well as some of the unused files in the Plus 98 fold for the ones for the Plus 98 themes as well. So let's take a look at the built-in themes. So as, as, you know, as soon as much as we scroll down, we're going to look at the Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci theme. You may notice how there's two different busy cursors and two different bit weight cursors, which weight is also known as work for working in background, which could be in, used as some specific build up plus for Windows 95 that was left remaining in the themes folder. With this being an animated cursor. And if we take a look at this one, this one's a non-animated. Same deal for this one. Which is kind of odd how they got the weight and busy cursors using the using the same cursor for the both weight and busy. But if we scroll down, there's another theme that has some alternate cursors. This that became unused in the final product because we got the nature theme while well, this one's an animated and this one being a non-animated which you could basically edit the cursors and mouse properties same deal here But there is some unused sounds for the science theme for the that was mainly for the restore up and restore down, which the restore down and restore up used to minimize and maximize sounds in the science theme. So I'm gonna let you get a glimpse of what they sound like. Let me start that. Let me open up. A different media player here. Better yet. Because it's going to keep repeating, so. Since I. I'll just use the old, good old classic sound recorder by dragging it in here. Let's play that one more time. Get the restore up. Just minimize that for now. So therefore, we're going to be taking a look at some of the themes in particular. One of them is being the one that's common in some of the comic-based themes. We get an alternate link select cursor that was basically unused. Same deal with this one. We take a look. Oh, they, that's Corvus Photography. I don't, don't have it. Or Doonesbury. You'll see that exact same cursor in some of the comic strip based themes. In the, well, in the comic strip themes, but others that come with plus 98, most likely. Besides the Garfield theme. 
But I found an unused sound event for Cityscape. So let me open the Cityscape theme. We're going to take a look. So we're going to go over to the sounds. So this one basically uses the default sound. But so if I open up the switch to the back to the Cityscape folder, so we're going to drag this one right here. This is the one for the default beep. So it usually it's basically shares the same sound as the geometry theme. So I open up that specific sound. Because on the geometry theme, you may notice they both use the same sound for default beep and default sound. So let me, instead of talking over it, I'm going to let y'all hear what it, what it sounds like. So the Garfield theme, which the Garfield theme actually has some unused sounds. So we're going to take a look at some of the unused sounds in the Garfield theme that became left unused from Microsoft during its development. So we're going to look at one that says Garfield error which is supposed to be the sound for the program error. Danger. Here's the um, critical stop. Sorry about that. Which these look like these are so far right, but there's a missing sound right here for menu command. So if I find it right here, it says menu C. So you got your proper sound there for the menu pop up. But, but, but some of your comic strip themes don't even have a menu pop up sound. They just, some of them recycle the same specific sound. But this one, they got the songs pretty much swapped over. Where this should have been the error sound, it's, you know, this one they use is the one for critical stop. But the rest looks just fine. Another theme that uses, well, the another thing that has different that uses the same sounds for the menu pop up in the menu command is the horror channel. And we notice there's a default beep sound that possibly could have been used. So let's go into the hard channel theme folder. Let's view the specific files. And we're going to compare them side by side. So let's look at the default beep and default sound all together. Don't touch that! Don't touch that! So if I take a good look, it doesn't use a uh, have a sound for system default, but it shares the same sound as default sound and system default which system default is basically default beep so let's look at the menu pop-up and menu command sounds so there's a menu pop-up sound that's 
hidden in, under here. So let's, I'm going to drag this file in the sound recorder and let y'all hear the mini pop-up sound. And these are like sounds that are also unused. So let's take a look at the peanut steam. There's a miss a sound that's I noticed that's never been used for. So if we take a look at the normal sound events as I'm scrolling down. You may notice there's a sound missing for program error because most of the themes have usually have like a sound for program error. Which is this little sound P E underscore error. So let's drag that into my sound. Because some themes in plus 98 will use the critical stop sound. For some reason, they just forgot to add the program error. It was just lazy in development. But if you look at them side by side, Like you may notice, there's some stuff unused content, which you could basically create an alternate version of that specific theme using those alternate sounds and cursors. As well as the ones from the earlier builds. So you probably get what I'm talking about. Because like I was mentioning before, like there's like three comic strip themes that basically uses the, that has a unused link select pointer. But you probably have to in, add that in manually. But let's talk, look at Corpus Photography. Which I noticed in the Corpus Photography theme. There is something I noticed oh, something slightly different. For both default beep and default sound, they use the default sound. But here's the proper default sound. I mean, not the well, the default beep, also known as system default. Which, for some reason, when it was being when this theme was being developed, they basically used the sound that was supposed to be for default for system default as the program error, which majority of the plus ninety eight themes had would use the critical stop sound. So this is what the critical stop sound on this one. Which is kind of strange when they were developing these themes. It could be the possibility that these sounds were kind of, well, these themes were being rushed during development. Just like when they um, carried these themes over into Windows Millennium Edition, the Windows Millennium theme, they just renamed the system sounds as more windows. Because the Windows Millennium theme is basically 
a more Windows theme with a Windows Millennium wallpaper. So I hope this video is interesting to some of y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.